Hi, and welcome to this 3D.SK video series. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at using ZBrush and the new ZWrap made by R3D to clean up scan topology or scan data. Okay, so let me just go ahead and navigate through the 3D.SK website. And I'm gonna pick uh, one of these heads. I've actually already gotten one pre-selected. So it's gonna be this Woman 3D head scan number 159. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this and really just kind of break it down and take a look at it in ZBrush. There's a couple of things that we need to kind of look at when we're actually doing this in ZBrush. So the first thing that I have is I already have a model that I've made and a couple of things that I did with this model. So I edited the model with closing the eye bags. Okay, so um, because our character, the actual scan data, let's take a look at it really quick. The scan data has the eyes closed. Okay, and for, with my model, I actually have the eyes open. So we want to make sure that we edit the data that's there and we don't have eye bags because if we have eye bags and you know stuff like you know a mouth bag and the inner ear that's going to create some problems for us as well as the nostrils if we have extrusions up in there okay so what we want to do is kind of make it uh, watertight so it doesn't have any holes and then um, what we can do is we can go ahead and use the z wrapper how the z wrapper works is i'm just going to go ahead and select both of the models and it doesn't matter if this area is penetrating. That really doesn't matter. What I am going to do is let me turn on the wireframe. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and subdivide the model. All right. Um, maybe twice. Okay. So it has a little bit more topology, but it definitely doesn't have as much topology as the original scan data. Okay. Because this scan data is coming in raw probably about a hundred, you know, almost 200,000 polygons. And then we've only got 23,000 polygons on this model with cleaner, you know, edge loops and stuff like that. Okay. So we can definitely use this model for animation, but the scan data, you know, we can pretty much just use this for 3d printing or something like that. Okay. Not even that because the scan itself has holes in it. So we'd have to kind of clean this up anyways. So this is what this process is about. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and let me turn off the wireframe and I'm gonna show you the new Z wrapper. So if you go to Z plugin, it's down here at the bottom, it's called Z wrap and I'm gonna just go ahead and start it. Now the screen, as it comes up, it's actually gonna be a little bit larger than our screen. So I'm gonna just have to reposition it um, for the areas that I'm gonna be kind of talking to you guys about. Now we have two screens and what I did was I synced the views, okay? So if I turn off sync, then we can actually look at the views individually. But what we wanna do is we wanna actually have these two views synced. So then once we start making our points for the actual wrap, that it'll execute properly, okay? So I'm gonna just go ahead and zoom in. It's basically the same navigation as in ZBrush. All right, and I'm not really gonna worry about the loop that's here right now. What I really wanna do is just kind of focus on the model, okay? So I'm gonna just start making some points. Now, these points, they're just kind of arbitrary and I'm just trying to follow the loops here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and make points around the model. So you see how these points, they actually are gonna be numbered, okay? So these points are gonna be matching the same points on the scan data as they are going to match on the actual retopologized data. I'm going to just go ahead and make some more points here. And these points are going to be following a number scheme. Okay, um, that looks pretty good. And then I'll just kind of do the exact same points here. All right, and what I'm doing is just basically marking the areas where I want the geometry to recalculate once I do the wrap. So I'm just marking some points here. And then you can actually zoom in if you want to get a little closer as well. You could zoom in to see that data. So now you see that the mouth is not fully closed, but it's okay. It's going to catch the data pretty good. All right. So I'm going to just keep on going here and make the area around the mouth and then here as well. And then I'm going to just go down here and then I'll mark the area for the chin as well around here. Um, you don't have to do as many points like this, but I just like to do this because what it does is it helps with the overall flow of the geometry. Even though I've already kind of made some pretty good geometry here, it's still going to work nicely. So just make some points there. And then I, I like to make a point underneath the chin. So right where the neck kind of starts to turn downward. Okay. So for the character, for this character, it's going to probably be about there. Yeah. And then, um, let me see. I want to do the ears as well because I have some pretty decent ear data here. 
So I'm going to just mark the points on the ears. Okay, and then mark these points as well. Do the same thing on the other side here. So, and what I'm doing is just basically making bounding boxes for everything. You don't even have to make this many points. It's really kind of a creative decision. Another couple points for the hairline. And then I can actually go ahead and wrap it from here. And I'm going to just move the uh, window up a little bit because it, the window doesn't resize. There's a button I'm actually doing selecting points right now. And then there's another button called wrapping. Okay, and once you click that button, what it's actually going to do is it's going to look at the models as they are stacked on top of each other. Okay, and then you'll be able to see the points where they are. So now that I have these points, I can just go ahead and go to start wrapping. And I'll just pause it so we can come back and take a look at the results. All right, so the wrap is done. And let's just take a look at it. Now the geometry around the eyes, it's going to be a little bit wonky because I just went on ahead and ZBrush and filled the hole, but we can definitely go ahead and fix that up later. So I'll just go ahead and click done and it'll jump me back into ZBrush and then let's take a look at the scan data now. And if I turn on the wireframe, remember like what I said for the eye bag, what we're going to have to do is definitely go ahead and change the topology there. But for the most part, the Z-Wrap feature in ZBrush is actually a very, very powerful tool in order for you to get some super clean geometry on scan data. So that concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos from 3D.SK.